Dear readers, welcome to my channel. Today's video takes you into a story full of mysteries and suspense about three giants in China's artificial intelligence, AI, field, why did they leave the world one after another? This is not just a tragedy in the development of technology, but also a puzzle involving national security, technological innovation, and political conspiracies. As China gains prominence on the global AI stage. The deaths of these three experts have sparked public concern and speculation. Is it a coincidence, or is there an unknown truth behind it? Let's together unveil this mysterious story and see what secrets lie in this enigmatic tale full of unknowns. Why did these three AI giants leave the world successively in such a short time? Is it a mere coincidence, or is there a deeper story behind it? Is there an external force trying to suppress China's high-level talents in the AI field? Does this series of events involve deeper levels of national security and technological competition? Every detail in this story could be a puzzle. Are you ready to unlock this mysterious box in the field of AI with me? Follow the footsteps of our nation and unravel this shocking Chinese technology mystery, Rise of China's AI Market. According to the Sullivan Report, the global AI market has grown remarkably, reaching 23.901 trillion yuan by 2022, a year-on-year -year increase of 26.69%. China's AI market has also continued to grow over the past few years, from 33 billion yuan in 2016 to 370.5 billion yuan in 2022, a year-on-year -year increase of 42.34%. This momentum shows China's rapid development in the field of AI, becoming a significant driving force for global AI innovation. In the 1980s and 1990s, China's technological development mainly focused on hardware manufacturing and basic scientific research, lagging behind in software and algorithms. However, with the advent of the new century, the Chinese government increased investment in the field of technology proposing the strategy of innovation-driven development, laying the foundation for the rise of AI. Internationally, the development of AI has been mainly led by the United States, with Silicon Valley in particular becoming the global center for AI innovation. However, China has made significant progress in the past decade, gradually transforming from a follower to a leader, however. While AI is flourishing in China, the successive deaths of three top experts have raised suspicions. First, Dr. Sun Jian, chief scientist of SenseTime and director of SenseTime Research Institute, passed away due to a sudden illness at the age of 45. Dr. Sun previously served as the chief researcher at Microsoft Asia Research Institute leading the team to win five championships in international image recognition competitions. Next is Associate Professor Feng Yang'e from the National University of Defense Technology, an expert in command and control and AI. He died in a car accident while riding a ride-hailing car home, and his severe injuries led to his unfortunate death. Professor Feng was selected for the strategic planning and demonstration work of the National New Generation AI Strategy in Defense Applications. His research covered intelligent games, intelligent planning, military chess deduction technology, Bayesian theory, and more. In addition, Professor Fong made important breakthroughs in command and control and intelligent-assisted decision-making. His research would have provided crucial support for the strategic deployment of our military adding a powerful weapon to the defense of our country. Unfortunately, his own safety was not secured. The funeral ceremony for Professor Fong was held at the Barbaotian Funeral Homes Orchid Hall. According to the obituary released by the Fong Young Her Memorial Committee, Professor Fong died in Beijing at 2.35 a.m. on July 1, but the news was not made public until July 14. The obituary highly affirmed Professor Fong's outstanding contributions to the development and progress of the National University of Defense Technology and the development of military intelligence in our country. Regarding the cause of death, 
the obituary responded that Professor Feng Yang had died unexpectedly while carrying out a major task in Beijing. However, the specific task and the nature of the accident were not mentioned. Finally, it is Tang Xiao, the founder of Sense Time, a renowned AI scientist. On December 16, 2023, Sense Time announced that Tang Xiao, the founder, AI scientist, director of Pudong Laboratory, director of Shanghai AI Laboratory, and professor at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, passed away at 23.45 on December 15, 2023, due to ineffective medical treatment. In addition to his role as the founder and chairman of Sense Time, Tang Xiao was also an AI scientist who had been engaged in research in the field of computer vision for many years, including multimedia, computer vision, pattern recognition, and video processing. Sense Time quickly grew into one of China's AI for Little Dragons, a tech company, and went public in Hong Kong on December 30, 2021. On December 1, 2018, the sudden and mysterious death of the renowned Chinese American physicist Zhang Shoucheng raised questions. Yang Jining admired Zhang Shoucheng and believed that Zhang Shoucheng winning the Nobel Prize in Physics was just a matter of time. Zhang Shoucheng assisted Huawei in researching 5G technology and considering the US sanctions against Huawei. Zhang Shoucheng's death became more complex. Suppressing China's top talents is not a new strategy. History has witnessed similar attempts. In the early 1950s, the US initiated a campaign to hunt down scientists with communist affiliations, accusing them of being a threat to national security. The famous case of Julius Robert Oppenheimer, a physicist and the leader of the Manhattan Project, serves as a stark example. Despite his significant contributions to the development of the atomic bomb during World War II, Oppenheimer faced accusations of communist sympathies during the McCarthy era. The parallels between the historical Red Scare in the US and the current situation in China's AI field raise concerns about the potential political motivations behind these incidents. In response to this shocking series of events, the Chinese government strongly condemned the actions of US agents and demanded an explanation and apology. The government emphasized the need to protect the safety of Chinese technology personnel and strengthen security measures for researchers. This response demonstrates China's high regard for national technological strength and talent, as well as a firm determination to uphold national interests. In conclusion, let me summarize for you, hoping you have gained some insights and reflections. The successive deaths of three giants in China's AI field involve significant issues related to national security, technological innovation, and political conspiracies. Our country needs to conduct a thorough investigation into this series of events to reveal the truth behind them. In this process, protecting and nurturing tech talents, ensuring they engage in research in a secure environment, is crucial. This is also the key to China's ability to stand undefeated in the global competition in technology. In the midst of fierce global technological competition, the protection of tech talents becomes especially urgent. The monumental contributions of Qian Shuesen in China's nuclear power, missile, and aerospace industry, along with the immense threats he faced, provide an important historical lesson for our country. The Chinese government should strengthen measures in talent cultivation and protection, ensuring that scientists can engage in innovative research in a secure environment, providing greater support for national technological progress. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Bye for now.